What's up you guys, Gold Key here with my first intro. I thought I would teach you guys how I create high quality gifts for Scent. So what you guys are gonna need is Adobe After Effects and Photoshop. So I create my uh, animations in After Effects and then I pop over to Photoshop to go ahead and create the GIF. So let's go ahead and hop into After Effects already got one of my animations up that I made and so I'm gonna go over a few things with you guys to consider when you're in After Effects so if we go over to our composition open up our composition settings um, you'll see that I'm working with 1920 by 1080 which is what I create all my gifts at and I'm at 30 frames per second and so this is important because frames per second if you consider that and you're working with like let's say a two second GIF you're working with 60 frames in the size 1920 by 1080 so those are kind of your parameters that you want to be thinking about when you're looking to create the GIF because for scent you're gonna to need to drop below 10 uh, megabytes so um, as you can see, I'm at about four and a half seconds for this GIF. So first thing I'll do, I'll just go ahead and play it back, make sure that it looks how I want it. And so I'll go ahead and pause it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. So once I do that, I'll go ahead and delete this other one. You'll see it's right here, my comp one. First thing you're gonna to wanna to change is you wanna click on this lossless. And up here at the top, you'll see format. So you wanna click that. Right now it's on QuickTime. What we want is a JPEG sequence. So I'll select that, push OK. Perfect. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select where you wanna save this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and save it onto my desktop. I'll create a new folder. Just say animation, press create, and then it saves in a subfolder as well. I already created a folder, so I'll uncheck that. But if uh, you want to save it inside of a folder, it can create a subfolder for you. You can name that. Go ahead and push save. A little thing that I learned is if you push caps lock before you push render, it is actually going to save a bunch of time because it's not gonna be rendering the preview. It'll only be rendering the output. So go ahead and push render and you'll see the loading bar here. It's going quite fast, which is great because this is pretty simple. Awesome. So it went ahead and saved. We'll close out of After Effects. And if we open up this folder, you'll see that it saved the animation as a JPEG sequence of each frame. So what we want to do is go ahead and grab this first one. We can just drag it onto the Photoshop icon. What that'll do is create an artboard the size of our animation. So for us, uh, 1920 by 1080, which is great. Um, I'll go ahead and unlock that background layer and we'll leave it there for a minute. So next thing you want to do is go to layer, video layer, new video layer from file. Click that. We'll go to our animation folder, select that first frame, go ahead and hit open. Now what that does is it creates a video file. It understands that this is a JPEG sequence. It'll go ahead and create a video. We can go ahead and delete the background layer we don't need it awesome so our video file is in Photoshop now now depending on the complexity of colors and the length of your your gif you're gonna need to change the size what we'll do is go up to image size And it's in inches right now. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to pixels. So we're at 1920 by 1080. I found that for scent, changing it to like 714, 715 is perfect. And it gives you the image size here. 
So we'll go ahead and push OK. We want to convert. So it'll make the size a lot smaller. And now we are ready to export. So next thing you want to do is go File, Export. And this is really important. Save for web. This is an older feature of Photoshop, so it does take a moment to go ahead and load. And I found that the bigger the file size, the longer this will take to load. So we'll give it a minute. Perfect, so now I've got this window. You don't really need to change anything on this window. The one thing I would look at is the preset. I always keep it at GIF 128. Uh, I don't need know this word, dithered. That's the amount of colors that it's gonna be grabbing. So next thing you wanna do, just hit save. I'll name this animation. Caps lock is still on, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and save it on desktop and push save. Awesome. Saves very quickly. We'll go ahead and close out of Photoshop. So first thing I do after I create it, I'll go ahead and right click it and hit get info. So what this will do is show you the size of the file. We probably didn't even need to drop that down the image size because this is now a very, very small file. So what I might do is go back into Photoshop and just go back to that 1920 by 1080 and test it out. But uh, for Scent, you definitely want to make sure that you are under the 10 megabytes limit or it will not upload. So it's, it's, there's not really a science to this. Basically what you're gonna need to do is either shorten your GIF in After Effects or you need to keep uh, making the size smaller. So the smaller you make it, the, the lower the resolution. So definitely consider keeping the frame rate down to at least 25 to 30. And then depending on how complex it is, you're gonna need to keep it pretty short. So I never do really more than five seconds. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and preview it. So right click, open with Google Chrome, and Google Chrome will actually play the GIF and you're able to preview it. So this is where you can kind of see um, how the quality is, if the resolution's good, if it's, if it's looking right. And then next thing we'll do is just pop over to Scent. Hit that upload button. And then you upload GIFs like you would an image. So we'll just hit that, hit there, hit open. You'll see it'll load. Pretty small file size, so it'll pop right up. And you can go ahead and preview it on Scent as well. Give it a title, hit post, and you are ready to go. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm excited to see some more gifts on scent, but it's been a pleasure and I will see you next time.